Hi, this is Ray with another segment of God's Creations, sharing some of the flowers that grow in my garden. What you're looking at now is bouquet of gladiolus. There's quite a number of different colors in this bouquet, but I brought it outside where some gladiolus are growing to show you that I have more than one color. As I pan up over these few things, I'm in a different part of the garden, and these are all the ones down here are these pink ones growing. Of course, gladiolus, you know, are from a, our bulb, and they they're in the cormus family of plants. Uh, they come from corms or bulbs. Sometimes they call sword lilies because of the sword leaves. They occur in Asia, Mediterranean, Europe, South Africa, tropical America. You plant the bulbs in late winter or early spring, depending where you are. And they're readily available in all the box stores. You, they're relatively inexpensive. You can buy those in the box stores only for about $10 for 20 or 30 bulbs. And over the last couple of years, I've brought quite a number of them to get a lot of different colors. They take full sun and loamy sandy soil. I dig my bulbs in, in late fall, put them in a bag and store them over the winter. And where they're ready to plant sometimes uh, down here in late February or early March. Now I'm going to pan down and show you something here. Each of these gladiolus will, will produce dozens and dozens of chrome, corms. And it takes about two years for these babies to get large enough to bloom. And I thought I had pulled all of the big ones out of here last year. And you see there are a number of these blooming this year. You can hear in the background, this is late about seven o'clock and we're fixing to get a shower. The first rain we've had uh, this week is the first rain we've had in quite a number of weeks. Another, or two other plants I want to share with you the, uh, now are in this same little bed. Right here are these Lavender Society garlics. The indigenous to Southern Africa They've naturalized in Tanzania and Mexico, then the Amaryllis family. The website says that the flowers are sweet smelling, but believe me, they smell like garlic. Uh, they are pretty deer resistant. Deer will not mess with them. Website says there's a different color besides this lavender, but all I've ever seen is these lavender ones. It also says that they're edible. They can be substituted for garlic or chives. And uh, they are they're, they like water. These are in irrigation, as you can see the irrigation behind them. Now I'm gonna pan just a feet, a foot or so, to the left of me to show you the third thing tonight. And this is fennel. It is a herb. Uh, it is this is about 18 inches high right now, but it will get up to three or four foot uh, tall. It's a hardy perennial herb in the carrot family, native to the Mediterranean regions. It smells like and somewhat tastes like licorice. It has small clusters of, of yellow flowers uh, on a, like a head, like wide as your hand. Uh, when it gets old enough to bloom. It's a habitat for the monarch butterfly larva. It's used in cooking and medical purposes. All of the plant is edible. In fact, there is a uh, fennel that is grown with a root and it is harvested as a food crop. It's used in soups, fish recipes, salads, and teas. 
The seeds, after the pod ripens and turns the seed, can be used in baking goods, deserts, and even drinks. Gladiolus fennel society garlic, right here in this small little patch of garden. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Seeing is believing, we say. But is that always true? None of us has seen God, and yet we believe Him and believe in Him. Jesus said the pure in heart will see Him. Not the physical form of God, but we see Him in all that He has made. The sun, the moon, the stars, the flowers, the trees. Even when we look into the mirror, we see His reflection, for we are made in His image. Do you see Him today in the things and the people around you? In what we share and how we live. God bless and have a great day.